anything that Jojo can carry, I am going to have to cook. That's the most random thing ever. What did you get? <laughs> Careful. Wow, this is so experimental. What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home here in London, and we have another fun video today with Jojo. Yeah. We know you guys love these fun videos with Jojo, but before we tell you more, let us know where you guys are coming live, but not live from. Where are you in the world? How are things going? We love hearing from you in the comments below. So today, guys, Jojo has a very exciting challenge ahead of him. Yeah, very exciting. And it's more of a challenging challenge for me. As today, we are heading to the supermarket and anything that Jojo can carry, I am going to have to cook. This is going to be really, really good. Yeah, we'll see. But just to be clear, Jojo, you can pick any food or ingredient that you want, but you have to be able to carry it. So what? Are we going to have a trolley? Nope, no <coughs> trolleys. A basket? Nope, no baskets. <coughs> so I'm going to be carrying everything I'm going to get in my hands? Yes. Yes, it's all you, and I'm not carrying anything for you. I can hand things to you, but you are the one responsible for bringing it to the checkout. And anything you might drop is gone. You cannot get it again. And I cannot get a duplicate item? No. Okay. And whatever you get, I will have to figure out how to make a meal out of it all. And then once I've done that, we will get Katie to taste test it to then see if I've passed. So all you have to decide now is where do you want to go to pick your food? I think I'm going to go for a shop with a very good variety. I'm going to go for Sainsbury's. Okay. All right, so you go in your room, start having a little think about some of the foods you might want to get as I've got something really cool to share with the free gang down here. Right, guys, this is the latest addition to our home. It's a Vitality Folding Memory Foam Mattress by Mobley, and it is so comfy. It's medium firm, so you feel nice and comfy, but supported at the same time and you don't sink. And I've got to be honest, guys, this is genuinely unlike any other mattress we've ever had. Firstly, it came in a really nice compact box. It expanded so quickly, like within the day we got it out. And this is something I've never known before. It didn't have any of that new mattress, new product smell, which you tend to get, and which personally irritates me, and it requires airing for a few days, but it didn't require any of that. So we were so happy to get this out the box, let it expand, and use it straight away. And it is so versatile that it has solved so many problems for us. Obviously, you can use it as a sofa, as it is right now, but it also, can be used as a nice bed too. And this has been really helpful for when we have guests staying over, Jojo has friends staying over, even when Astrid stays here as well. And the reason it is so comfy is because of its cool design of gel memory foam combined with high density support foam. And this helps support 95% of your body pressure and gives your body perfect support and comfort, allowing you to feel comfortable in whatever position you sleep. And its top layer is soft and breathable as well, which means that you will stay cool at the same time. But whatever size you have, guys, it's easy to fold up, makes it very compact, easy to store, and it's super light as well. Let's face it, guys, mattresses are not normally light and easy to move. So it means that we could even take around someone's house if we're having a sleep over there. Or, and we're thinking this, it could become Jojo's new bed in the van. So it could come in there with us when we get the van back. Or another thought we've been having, as you know, Sam and Emily's old room is kind of becoming a spare room and office. So this might go in there as either a spare bed or a nice little relaxing sofa space. But the great thing is we don't even have to decide because it's so easy to move around, we can use it for multiple things. And right now guys, Mulberry have a great sale on, on their website where you can get up to 30% off. But with our code Family Freedom, you can get an additional $30 off when you spend over $250. So you can get a great deal on what are truly great products. So head to their site via the link in our description and you can see all the amazing mattresses they have. Here, Joe, Joe, get a trolley. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, let's go and get a basket. Okay. Wait, wait, no. I'm... Okay, I think here's where I'm just gonna browse around. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, you were saying you're gonna browse around. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna browse around first. So you're not gonna pick anything up? No, I'm not gonna commit yet. Just because I don't wanna get something and have my hands full and I've still got like half of it left and I'm like, 
Oh, but that looks good, and that looks good, and that looks good. Oh, that's really annoying. I was hoping you were going to struggle the whole time and drop <laughs> stuff and make it easier for me. <laughs> so what are you browsing? I'll have to pick up and have a look at this, but I'm like, what's I pick it up? Like, that's yes, it. once you pick it up, that's it. You've got to take it. Ooh, I've got an idea. What have you got an idea for? Mushroom. Are you going to grab them now, or are you still in browsing mode? It might seem like a small little box, but it's still like a thing to carry, so I'm going to keep looking around. So I'm thinking of being very strategic getting something big, maybe flat, and then like lay everything on top of it so it's easy to carry. No, no strategy is allowed. <laughs> oh, it's allowed. Oh, I'm thinking about like the hooky things, like easy peelers I can like put on my fingers and stuff because they're nets. Oh, because they're nets, yeah. yeah. Why don't you just get a load of big bunch of bananas? I know what to make with that. Banana ice cream. There we go. It's not as simple as that. I could also do banana smoothie. How about some melons, Jojo? They're really nice and easy to carry. They're heavy. I'm just thinking, if I can hand you stuff, maybe I could just grab random stuff and throw it at you. And then if you catch it, that's it. <laughs> so I need to ask Jojo, do you actually have an idea of a meal or, or anything that you're getting? Or is it just going to be completely random? I have kind of an idea of a meal, but I want to make it as hard on you as possible. Thank you, mate. What are you going in for? Are you picking now or still looking? Cheese. You want to find the biggest, flattest thing, eh? <laughs> to stack everything on. I think we get this cheese here. Cathedral City, that's quite nice. Yeah. Whatever I'm going to be making is going to be nice and cheesy. How about you just get that? Cheese for a meal. I picked it up. I picked it up. I picked that's it, up. it. It okay. can't go down. Is it heavy? No. I don't know why I'm holding it funny. Like, <laughs> like it's, the it's, most precious. Like, it's precious. Just don't drop it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I've just realised something as well, Jojo. This is going to be really hard for you because most of the time you don't like holding anything. You always hand the stuff you've got in your hands to us. It's different if you've got a bag or a basket. <laughs> so, let's see how far you can get. <laughs> pot noodle. <laughs> Cheesy pot noodle it is. That actually sounds good, doesn't it? I don't know. If you want to go for it and carry just two items, I'm happy with that. Well, I'm not. Okay, bread. Cheese toasty. <laughs> Look, one of these French sticks, I could like shove it under my arm then. So you're going to carry it under your arm or just hold it for now? I'll only do that when I have to carry it. Do you know what, this is really getting my brain into gear. Even though I'm saying it's a joke, I am having to think along every step of the way going, okay, he's got cheese, he's got bread, that's cheese on toast. But I get a feeling that's going to be harder the more you get. I'm not going to be able to pick out a meal. At the moment though, this is looking good. Cheese on toast, I can do that. Back at the mushrooms, you're actually considering these now? Have you got the hands to grab them? Yeah, at the minute, actually not. What I'm going to do... Careful, there's careful some adjustment going on. the bread under my arm. The bread's under the I arm. carry both of these in one hand, this is good. Oh, you've got a system going on, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's happened, now you've got those mushrooms, now I'm like, what do I do with those? <laughs> Three items, I'm done. Okay, these red onions, I was thinking it's netted so I can put my finger through, but the holes aren't big enough for my fingers. So I'm going to put it... Well, let me take my hat off, give me a sec. What is going on? The hat's coming off. No. You can't do that. No. Surely that's not allowed. Not what, allowed. Are what are people going to think when you have onions hanging out? They're going to think you're carrying a little baby. If these fall out though, you can't have them. You know that. What next? I don't think there's space in the hood for any more though. I'm going to get a cauliflower. I know it's big and heavy, but I'm going to get one. It's also very random. What am I supposed to do with cauliflower? I don't know, just cauliflower. Then. Cauliflower cheese and onion bread <laughs> see this is where it's a struggle now because you're having to grab stuff at the moment yes you're running out of hands you know what, i'm gonna head to the pasta section pasta you've got to be careful which pasta you pick because it might be hard to carry true okay i'm actually gonna grab a tin of beans really yep going in with the cauliflower no you cheek is that staying in that is staying in. Hold on, yeah. if I drop these beans, am I allowed to get a different brand of beans? No. Dang no. nabbit. Okay, so at the moment we've got mushroom, cheese, beans, cauliflower and bread. This is again a bit difficult to hold now. Tiny bit. Um, it doesn't look for like macaroni. Macaroni? Mac Why macaroni? That's the most random thing ever. We never get macaroni. Why are you being difficult? <laughs> I bet it's harder to cook or something. Look, Free Gang, he's had to lower himself down to the ground just to get that. Okay, I might have to actually get to the point where I'm not stabilising it with my hands and I'm literally just plonking it on top. Plonking, eh? Some arrangement going on here. Okay, oh. stick, stay there. Careful. Oh, okay. So the cauliflower has now become the base. 
Yeah, I think the heaviest thing must go at the bottom. Are you holding on to that pasta then? Mm -hmm. Is it going to stay tucked in your arm? Yes, yeah, going to stay there. <laughs> and the onions are hanging out. <laughs> what are you thinking right now? I don't know. If you are seriously considering milk, then I'm lost. Yeah, I am. How does milk feature in any of this? Get some cereal at least. Can you cut that milk for me and just place it? This one here? Yes, yes. Okay. And do I just put plonk, it on somewhere? Plonk it, yeah, plonk it literally okay. there. That's perfect. Does that make, I suppose, plonkers then? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get a pot noodle on then, I think. No, come on. Um, okay, uh, can you bear it for me? Which one? Uh, the red one. This one? Yeah. The beef and tomato that yeah. we always have. Just plonk it, just on top, just on top. Just there? Okay. <laughs> you okay there, mate? Let's head back to the checkouts. You sure? Yeah. Hope your onions make it at the back there. Do. <laughs> You're struggling. Look at the way he's walking. All you have to do is get to the checkout with all of this and you have succeeded. Is he going to put it down? <laughs> Don't forget the onions in your hood. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. You're right. Yeah. So well done Jojo, you didn't drop anything, you managed to get through that. Now I've got to get home with all of this and figure out how to make a meal out of it. <laughs> so I am back guys, in the kitchen, ready to get this underway. Well, when I say ready, I'm not ready at all. I'm just laughing at the size of this bag. Honestly, how did he carry this? And what, what did you get as well? He had the onions in his hood. <laughs> I know. She's been finding it hilarious. She's had a nosy peek in there already and it's been finding it hilarious that I've got to try and make food with this. Okay, show everyone what you got then. Oh, how much did you spend as well? It was £13.89. So he was carrying that much. So, got a French stick. Good. Mushrooms. Milk. Those two <laughs> should not follow each other in a recipe. Pasta. I don't know why he got macaroni. We never get macaroni. Why did he choose it? Red onions, stored in the hood. Oh dear. The security must have thought you were stealing. We had to be careful of that because I thought if they did see that they could have you know, taken her out and then I would have got away with the challenge. Yeah, cauliflower. Good. <laughs> Some cheese. I mean, cheese can make a meal good. You got beans, of course. I was thinking, yep, yeah, I can figure some things out, but this one threw me off. A pot noodle. What? That's a spanner in the works. How are you going to make a meal out of all of that? You got to use every single ingredient, haven't you? I guess I have, haven't I? I could, otherwise, I just do cheese on toast. <laughs> I don't. I wish I was doing it. What I think you should do is. What do you mean, what you, the, it, no, <laughs> you're not even supposed to be involved. That's why I'm doing this challenge because it might have been easier for you. I'll be honest, free gang. I'm fine with cooking. I'm decent at cooking. But when there's a bit of pressure on a challenge like this, I, I, I tend to crumble. What are you thinking then? <laughs> Nothing. Make a crumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I can't just do cheese on toast. Right, this is quite central. Surely something with pasta. Oh, this thing's just annoying. Onions can be diced and put in anything, so that's not a problem. Maybe the same with the mushrooms. Can I make a cup of tea with it? Right, I've got to go into full brainstorming mode. So let's think of things that go together. Macaroni with the cheese, but the cheese goes with bread. You can have beans, cheese on that. Wait a minute, can I do multiple things? It's like one meal, yeah, you could like do, sides. Yeah, you could do a starter and a side. Maybe. You're loving being able to have a little bit of input, aren't you? But what about the milk? Can you make a sauce with milk? Yeah, you can make a sauce. Ooh, cheesy milky sauce. I might have an actual genuine idea. Don't get me wrong, I know I have this false sense of confidence in other challenges. It doesn't always turn out well. Oh, wait a minute, this is to feed you, isn't it? You, you're the judge. Yeah, I'm going to be the judge, so you need to do something good. But I just love the randomness of the vegetables. Cauliflower, mushrooms and onions. You can't even make a side salad with that. <laughs> no. Right, I think I've got some idea, but I think I've got to start doing stuff and get things in motion to start heading in the right direction. So guys, I've had a moment and I've gone into the depths of my brain to figure out something. I've separated the food to, I think I know what I'm gonna do with and haven't got a clue what I'm gonna do with. So I think with this stuff, I'm gonna make maybe some sort of cauliflower pastory cheesy bake. I hope I can get a cheese sauce out of these two, but also have enough to grate over the top. 
Remember, you can use all of the spices. That's that's a yeah. good point. You can use salt, pepper, different flavor. I can flavor. use olive oil. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I'm glad you're here. You're loving this, aren't you? I'm what, loving it. Watching me struggle. I think first then I can pour. Hmm. I'm not going to pour all of it in there because I want to get all of the cauliflower in. Okay. Just got to get this cauliflower chopped up. You're going to chop it into small florets, are you? That's what they're called, isn't it? Florets. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's you, Mr. Pot Noodle. Have what fun? <laughs> what have you done, Jojo, to him? But I might have pulled something out of the bag, mate. Well, I mean, the only thing you've done is chopped up a cauliflower and just dumped some macaroni in there, so you're off to a great start. You wait, this might be good. Is he having some as well? Yeah, you, you can be a judge as well, Jojo. But yeah, I'll be a judge as well. But you take responsibility if it's bad marks. I don't know whether to get it, give it good or bad marks now. So, there is the basis of a bake. That is two ingredients done. I've heard of macaroni cheese and I've heard of cauliflower cheese, but I've never heard of macaroni and cauliflower cheese. I've never heard of pot noodle and cheese before though. How about pot noodle, baked beans, bread cheese, yeah? <laughs> that sounds like a great meal. But right, dice up some onions, add them there. Then it's about making the sauce, but I need cheese to sprinkle on top as well, so I have to use a bit for a yeah. sauce and a bit for on top. Yeah. Onions are in there. You're gonna make your cheese sauce now. Yeah. And put it over the top. Yeah, and then save some cheese to grate on the top as well. Oh, I could do breadcrumbs as well to go on top. You That'd could. be good. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yeah, bakes have a lot of breadcrumbs in that on there, don't they? Yeah. I've just broken up into bits because I think I need to probably break it down for, for the, the blend. blender. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm hoping that this comes out the right consistency. Yeah, you want it watery to cook the pasta and the cauliflower in there, but you mm. want it to be a thick, creamy sauce, you know? I'm going to use all the milk because I don't foresee it being used for anything else, so okay. why not? Might as well. I need all of the liquid I can get. Come on, cheesy sauce. That smells cheesy. Cheesy and milky. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> okay, kind of a more milkier taste. I was just gonna add some nutritional yeast, but I can't do that. <coughs> you didn't buy it, no. But I'm gonna add some of these spices and bits, so that should hopefully make it thicker, give it a bit more flavor as well. So you've got salt, pepper, onion powder. And garlic powder. So pepper, not too much. Some sea salt. Onion powder, about half a teaspoon I'm gonna go for. Sorry, half a tablespoon. Maybe I might add more garlic powder as well. Maybe not as much, because garlic's obviously really strong. Wow, this is so experimental. Good. Mmm, that onion powder really brings out the cheesy taste and everything, great. Right, moment of truth, guys. I am so happy with how that's turned out. It actually covered everything. It's not cooked yet, calm down. True. <laughs> I might have just had a crazy idea. Might put the pot noodle, dry noodles over there as well. I mean, it will certainly give it some flavor. I don't know. <laughs> some interesting flavor. I'm gonna have but to- But I don't know where I'm gonna use no, it. No, no, I'm gonna have to get involved. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do something else with it. Look, if I wanna put these on there, I will. People will be screaming at their screens <laughs> if you do that. The, I'll be honest, the only thing I'm considering is if I'm going to have breadcrumbs and cheese on there, have I even got space for this? It might even be better to put the beans on there, but again, I don't know if there's space. I'm going to go for it. There's no looking back now. Second moment of truth. You're mixing it in, are you? Yeah. This looks so weird now. The orange of beans now just coming in on top of this white sauce, white cauliflower. Jojo, what have you done? Come here. No! Look, oh, what's going on? Look, what, look what he's creating. Dinner is served. You have created a beans and... No, thank you. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, you've created like a cheesy, beanie, macaroni, disaster. cauliflower <laughs> mosh of disaster. <laughs> yeah, disaster mosh. You're loving this too much. It looks like the sort of thing a kid would sneak into the kitchen just like make without any like instructions whatsoever. And it's just like, ta-da, daddy, eat this. Don't say that. No, I'll tell you what it looks like. A kid bought the ingredients as random as possible and made their dad cook it. Okay, I'm gonna put the grated cheese on first. Hopefully this covers the whole lot. 
That actually looks nice now you've got the cheese on it. <laughs> you think so? It looks nice. But I, I feel like, even though I've got a rough idea of how this is all going to be, how it looks on the plate and how it tastes is a big thing. So we'll have to wait and see when it comes to you eating it. In the meantime though, I'm going to make breadcrumbs with all of this bread. Had an idea, maybe not use all of them for this, just some. And then maybe I can make with the mushrooms, like some breaded mushrooms. Use some olive oil, dip them in. Freddy oh, mushrooms, that could be a starter or even yeah. side. Or you had some cheesy sauce left over. So Dip them in that cheesy breaded mushrooms. Cheesy breaded mushrooms, that'll be nice. As for the pot noodle, I don't know. It's probably just going to be a pot noodle starter thing. Dessert. <laughs> Okay, time to put this masterpiece in the oven and just pray to the food gods that it comes out all right. Okay, I've got the rest of the breadcrumbs now, uh, the rest of the cheesy sauce. A nice little station set up here, so I'm going to dip mushrooms. You washed the mushrooms, didn't you? Yeah, they're all being washed, so I'm going to dip them in Why there. don't you just, I'm not interfering, but just put them all in. Oh, sorry, I've just, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Don't get involved. Put that on the nice Christmas one. It's too late now, isn't it? Yeah, no, it would have been easier to just mix them all around in there and then- I was doing fine. Right. Okay, sorry, sorry. Next time we're doing this challenge, I'm carrying the food and you are cooking. Okay. Okay? All right. I'm gonna carry so much stuff. You're gonna just get nothing but pot noodles. <laughs> By the way, that's just over there and I'm ignoring it at the moment. Dip a mushroom and roll it in all those breadcrumbs. Place it on the tray over there. Just to add as well for a gang, I did add some salt and pepper to the breadcrumbs just to give it a bit more flavour because, I don't know, it could be bland. You can't go wrong with a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, breaded mushrooms all ready to go. I'm going to put them in the air fryer. 15 minutes, I reckon. Okay. Right, I think it's done now. Moment of truth. How long has it been in there? About half an hour? Half an hour, 40 minutes. Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness, bubbling away. That looks amazing, Bob. It looks amazing. The taste, however, we will have to wait and see. So the mushrooms are done as well. I've just got to do the difficult job of making the pot noodle. And then I'm going to plate it up. So do you want to go in there? I've set the table up for you to sit down and enjoy the meal. And then I want to plate it up and bring it to you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Fingers crossed, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Do you remember when you were a kid? Did you used to do that? Are you a kid now? No. <laughs> so why are you doing it? Are you ready for this? Yes. So it's going to come in a couple of stages, okay? So these are side dishes. This is the pot de noodle. So you just went with the pot noodle on its own? <laughs> it had to be used, okay? I've got okay. a win this. And we also have cheesy mushrooms in breadcrumbs. Oh, cheesy breaded mushrooms. Yeah. They look really nice. Look, guys. Yeah, they do look very, very nice, I must say. However, I need to tell you something. I have not tried any of this. Okay. So this is the main dish. So this is cauliflower, onion, and macaroni bake. I would uh, 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 cheesy bake. I would call it no cauliflower and macaroni cheese bake. That's what I'd call it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have some. We need to get Jojo in after to have some because he's got to see if you did his grocery haul justice. So you're adding him as a judge now. As yeah. Well. He, well, he's got to see. But anyway. Oh, what are you trying first? Try the pot noodles. No, I know what pot noodle tastes like. I'm gonna try the breaded mushrooms on their own. Okay. I was worried your face in. Is that good? They're amazing. Can I have one? Try one. They're so crispy. I'm going in. Mmm! I know! See why well, you took a while, it keeps in. Oh my goodness! Okay, so the main thing, if you can get some pasta in there or... I'll get some pasta. Cauliflower as well. Get to the... because the, the pasta is like mostly at the bottom, the macaroni, isn't it? Yeah, oh you got a bit of onion, good. A bit of onion. This all looks very breadcrumby. Mmm! Is that good? The breadcrumbs at the top and the cheese is heaven. Oh, wow. I don't know about the beans. I mean, the beans work in there, but... Does I'd, it add anything or I'd take rather, anything away? I'd, I would have rather had tomatoes than beans. I could only work with what I got. Well, Jojo got. Good though. It's nice. Would you eat that as a meal? I'd, would you be happy with that being served to you? I would eat this every day for the rest of my life. I would definitely eat those as well. Try a bit, try a bit. Okay. Mmm. Told you. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> But let's see if Jojo feels the same. Try the pot noodle, just so I know that everything's worked out, okay? I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love a pot noodle. Who doesn't? 
Does the beef tomato pot noodle complement the other flavours? Yeah. So, you seem to be happy, but before you give your marks out of 10, let you finish and then Jojo will come in and eat. Okay. Oh. What do you think? It looks better than it, it used to look. You try whatever you want first. I'll try these first because I'm quite excited about these. Mmm. Not bad, those are nice. So this is, like I said, it's got macaroni, it's got cauliflower. If you can try and get as much of all of the stuff in there, so maybe take a couple of mouthfuls. Okay. It's got a bit of onion and beans on this fork. Okay. Wow, you did good! Really? Yeah! You like it? That is amazing! That is a good team effort, guys. Well done. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That turned from like a really big splodge earlier in the day into like a beautiful masterpiece. I thought you'd be absolutely lost and you'd make something that a bit weird, if you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, we brought Katie back as is the important part of the challenge. You two have to give your marks out of 10. Katie, go. I'm gonna say a good, I didn't expect this, but a good eight and a half oh, out of 10. I'm happy with that, Jojo. Eight and a half, flipping 10. Really? Yeah. No way. Oh man, I pulled this out of the bag. He's devouring this food right now. Well, that can be your dinner for tonight if you want, mate. Mm -hmm. If you have enjoyed this food challenge, guys, then you're gonna love this one over here. Before you go and watch that though, guys, make sure you always stay free. And just, just keep, keep rising. rising.